Welcome to Kinder Morgan Terminal's Vancouver Wharves facility. This KM facility receives and transfers bulk product to and from rail cars and vessels and transfers it to storage or other vessels and rail cars. Your safety is of utmost importance to us. This orientation contains important information about facility operations, general safety and security rules and emergency procedures. While on site, you will be required to abide by all KM health and safety programs, procedures and rules, as well as all applicable governmental regulations. Failure to comply may result in your being requested to leave the facility and having re-entry refused. Security. Vancouver Wharves is a secured facility. All visitors must show photo identification each time they enter the facility through the security gate at the entrance to the terminal. All passengers in every vehicle must also show photo ID to be allowed on site. Contractors and employees must obtain port passes to be able to enter the facility at the Longshore parking lot turnstile. Transport Canada requires port passes used by anyone other than the person identified on the pass to be confiscated and the person using them to be removed from the site. Any vehicle entering or leaving the facility may be subject to random search. General safety rules for the protection of our visitors, contractors and employees. All visitors must obtain a visitor badge that is given at the security guard house everyone must display their port passes above the waist. Minimum PPE requirements are a hard hat, high visibility vest, steel-toed boots, safety glasses, and gloves. These must be worn at all times when on the facility. Depending on where you are working, other PPE may be required. For example, at birth one, Respiratory masks and hearing protection must be worn, and you must be clean-shaven. No jewelry is allowed except for watches with breakaway bands. Please remove all rings, necklaces and facial piercings before going to work. Jewelry is a hazard as it has a potential to be caught in machinery, accessing ladders and handling tools, etc. No photographs are allowed without the express written permission of Kinder Morgan Management. Obey all posted warning signs, barricades, and instructions. Smoking is not allowed on facility grounds or inside of vehicles, except in designated areas, the Longshore parking lot and the smoking shack at the outside of the site service building. Smoking materials are to be disposed of only in the ashtrays provided, not in waste baskets. There is no eating or drinking at birth one. Maintain good housekeeping, dispose of garbage in the appropriate containers, and put recyclable materials into recycling depots whenever possible. The use, sale, purchase, transfer, or possession of alcohol, illegal drugs, firearms, or other dangerous weapons is prohibited. No one under the influence of illegal drugs or alcohol is permitted on Kinder Morgan property. Personal flotation devices are required within three feet of dock edges. Do not enter the restricted area during sulfur dumping. Inappropriate language, sexual references, discrimination, rudeness or threats directed to anyone on site will not be tolerated. This is a Canadian Occupational Health and Safety Regulation, Workplace Violence, Part 20. Motor Vehicles are limited to designated roadways and parking lots. When parking, back in only and turn headlights on while driving. Use of a mobile device or cell phone is not allowed while operating vehicles. Cell phones must be turned off during liquids operations. Follow all posted speed limits and traffic flow patterns. The maximum speed is limited to 30 kilometers per hour on site unless otherwise posted. Passengers must have adequate seating and a seatbelt must be worn at all times. Permission from management is required for vehicle entry into enclosed operational areas and liquid tank farms. Mobile equipment has right of way. Do not park close to or block railroad tracks with vehicles or other equipment. Injuries and incidents. All incidents, including release of product, Personal injuries, vehicle accidents, property damage and unsafe conditions or actions must be reported immediately to facility management, the nearest KM employee or to your supervisor.
If you are injured while on site, you will receive first aid or be taken to the off-site medical provider for treatment. If you are injured or involved in an incident, you are expected to participate in the facility's incident investigation by providing the details of the incident. Contact the security guardhouse for general inquiries. Phone 604-985-3166. Emergency response and evacuation. Potential emergencies that may occur at the site include fires and injuries. If you detect an emergency situation, immediately notify your supervisor or the nearest KM employee. Follow their directions. If no KM employees are available, contact the security guard at the main gate, phone 604-904-7212. Identify yourself, your location, and a brief description of the emergency situation. Do not call 911. If time allows, shut down and secure any operations you are involved in. Safely walk towards the nearest emergency exit. Proceed to the nearest mustering area to check in and to receive further instructions. Do not leave the site without first checking in with facility management. Potential Site Hazards Some of the materials stored, transferred or used in the facility can have the potential to be harmful to health or the environment. While KM has taken every precaution to make the facility safe, there is always a potential for unsafe conditions. Other potential hazards from facility operations may include vehicle and heavy equipment traffic, docks near bodies of water, rail traffic, construction activities, uneven or slippery walking and working surfaces, and pinch points. Extra care must be taken when moving in the vicinity of rail cars. Do not walk between two stationary rail cars. You must be 25 feet away to walk around a stationary rail car. Material safety data sheets for all chemicals stored and used on the property are available at the site service building. The facility also uses signs to warn personnel of potential hazards and to identify the location of special equipment, such as the location of fire extinguishers and restricted access areas. In addition to this information, there are job-specific requirements or hazards that you may be required to know before working on the site. Some of these may involve proper shoveling techniques, identifying potential places for slips, trips and falls, safe scaling of a ladder, and careful hand placement when handling materials or tools. The key is to assess the hazards and control them. Look up, down, near and far when assessing any hazards. Kinder Morgan operates on these six core principles. Safety will not be compromised. Environmentally compliant and responsible operator. Ethics and integrity. Commitment to employees and resources. Customer service and fiscal responsibility. Quality focus. What does this mean? If you feel that any one of these principles has been compromised, you have been given the authority to stop. Not only have you been empowered, but you are also expected to stop the job if you feel that something is not right. Together, Kinder Morgan's visitors, contractors and employees will continue to strengthen our position as an industry leader in safe marine terminal operation as we provide energy resources to our customers safely, efficiently and reliably.